Oh, hey there, welcome back. You're just in time. You remember last time you were here, we were working on these newel posts. We got them all prepped and ready to go. All we gotta do now is get these base plates made up. So why don't you hang around while I get these things welded up? Then we'll take these newel posts, load them up, head on up the hill to get them installed. All right, so first things first, you can see we got our plates cut. Then we already know we've got these set up at three and a half inches on center. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is Let's go ahead and mark where we're going to put our holes, and I'm just going to eyeball them. We're going to come in about a half an inch each way on each corner. They don't have to be exact. That'll do us. It's just a matter of getting them drilled out next. Now we're just set up to cut our uh, cut our all thread. Okay, now we're just going to put a real nice bevel around one side, all the way around on on the bottoms of these. So we've got a place to get a good weld. That ought to do it. The next step is to get these uh, set up and we want to get them perfectly plumb both directions. So I'm going to use these, these magnets. We'll put the bevel side down. About like that. Just make sure you're on your marks. Then we can tack it and weld it off. So we got this thing spot welded or tack welded and before we weld it off I want to check and make sure it fits real nicely into those holes we drilled on the newel post. So let's take a look. Yep. So it's always a good idea to double check and make sure everything fits real good before you weld it off. That's perfect. So we'll weld this off now. So we got us a couple good coats of primer put on these things. It's time to get them loaded up, gather up all our tools, and head on up the pass and get these newel posts installed. Alright then, I'm gonna head on up to the job site, and get these newel posts installed. If you want to see how I do it, you're gonna have to click subscribe right here. Come on back next time. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LawFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.